The case of Jean Spangler just got deeper and deeper for this 27-year-old starlet who went missing in 1949. In this episode, we delve into forensic astrology. What do the planets say happened to Jean? Stay tuned for part three of the mysterious disappearance of Jean Spangler. Welcome to Looking for the Lost. We are so excited. Today is a very special um, recording that we have. We have a special guest, John Basley, who is an expert at forensic astrology. And he's going to take a look at uh, our Gene Spangler case and see how it lines up, how the planets line up with the evidence that we've gotten in the last two shows. So I'm Kay Reynolds. I'm Jean July. And I'm Asia Kim. Heads up, everybody. Now we do use photos, sometimes graphic language in our show, and it may not be suitable for children, or it may create a trigger for some folks out there. So please be aware. And also you can find us on Apple Podcasts and YouTube. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So today, as we said, we are having our special guest, John Baisley, who is, in my opinion, like an expert in forensic astrology. Yes. So um, just to give you a little recap on what the story of Gene is about, I'm not going to tell you everything, because if you really want to know what happened, you would have to go back and listen to part one and part two. Okay. So to give you a little recap, Gene Spangler, who went missing October 7th, 1949, has never been solved as far as what happened to her. We're not sure if she was murdered. We're not sure if she just went missing. However, one of the clues that was found was a purse that was torn at the straps at the Ferndale entrance in Griffith Park here in Los Angeles. There was a note found in the purse addressed to Kirk. And the note said, Kirk, can't wait any longer, going to see Dr. Scott. It will work best while mother is away. After that, no one knows what happened to Jean. So we had psychic evidence and clues that we had worked on, the three of us. And now what we want to do is to see what John picked up in the planets as he had created a forensic astrology chart. So John, Tell us what you got. Take it away. Hello, ladies. Thank you for having me back. Hello, hello. We are so glad so to have glad you here, here today. Exciting. Oh, I am uh, happy to be here. Uh, happy to talk about forensic astrology and the Gene Spangler case, possibly tie it into the Black Dahlia. And yes, I do have a surprise for all of you in oh. the chart, but oh. because I'm a Scorpio, I'm going to save it for last. Yes, Scorpio. <laughs> yes, we like it. We like secrets. We do. Okay. Okay. So um, you had some questions for me um, that uh, I have. I'm just going to bring that up and um, go over that with you, if that'll be uh, okay with you. And we'll bring the chart up as well. So let me bring the chart up. I'll share that. And here is our chart, the event chart for Gene Spangler. Now, see a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of energy on the Western side of the chart. And remember, Things are backwards and upside down in the event chart. Uh, people would think that this is the eastern side and this is the western side, uh, like the uh, United States, and north would be on the top, south would be on the bottom. No. Um, north is on the bottom. South is on the top. The, uh, the right side is the west and the left side, the east. So let us begin. Um, one of the first questions that you had was, a man was waiting for her at the market. The first thing that I 
picked up that came to me was, yes, a man picked her up. Um, she was waiting for him. And this was someone that she was familiar with, I felt. And we do have that in the chart. Uh, the son often seen as the perpetrator. One of the number one markers for that is right here. And it is in the sixth house of work. And it's also next to Mercury, which can be an indicator for grocery stores. So there you go. Mm. First mm. validation. Um, it was said that she had uh, gotten into a car that was meticulously cared for. And uh, for cars, uh, Mars is seen as a vehicle. Mars is metal and it is aspecting the moon. The moon can be shown as white, but also clean. We can't drill down to meticulous, but clean, but there it is. Did you see running board? No. Okay. No. Um, it, it looked to me, it was a lighter color car and it was, I saw cream, like a cream colored car. I, I kept being drawn to how shiny the chrome was on this car. Mm -hmm. It was very well kept, looked like white leather seats on the inside, and it had those bat wings in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have here in the, uh, in the sixth house, we have that um, first George Hodel connection, uh, Mercury, the sixth house is also uh, the house of health and an indicator for doctors that we saw in the uh, last case with the Black Dahlia. And I immediately was drawn to the heels and I immediately wrote down Jorge. Oh. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Jorge mm. is Mercury. Again, that same mark, doctors. Now, uh, someone had said that uh, they possibly had traveled down to Baja, Mexico. I just keep seeing this boat heading to Mexico. I, yeah, like I said, I kept hearing Mexico, leaving the country, Mexico. So I'm with you on that, Kay. I now, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, now. I don't, I don't know exactly where Baja, Mexico is, but I'm I'm seeing that part of Mexico that where it connects with um, California. That's exactly got, where it is. And it's got that arm, and then that's it's exactly what I'm seeing. That's exactly where it is. It's right I, on the I heard tip. Baja. Okay, it's that right well, on the tip. That's exactly where I was on that yep. tip. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm good. Ah, uh, you were good. <laughs> so we have Saturn, which is the body and the bones. And I will say that this is, uh, this is Gene. So the, um, this sign Virgo gives us a direction of south by west. So I'm in agreement with Baja, Mexico. Wow. Just, okay. Right? Yeah. Yep. Pretty interesting. So now, yeah. now we move over to the abortion. Uh, very interesting uh, part of the, the, the chart. So uh, that's down in here. Um, it's in the fourth house. Fourth house can be the home, can be family, but it can also be the end of the matter, something that caused a death. So it's like a pseudo death house. Remember in the last case, 12th house and 8th house are death houses. 4th house can also be somewhat of a death house. And here we have that same marker for the abortion, Pluto and Mars. So, uh, and both can be uh, um, symbols or indicators of blood, uh, especially uh, Pluto. Pluto is many too much and so on. Um, and we also have uh, in there, um, there is a uh, 
aspect um, to, I would say, uh, with the with the doctor to Chiron. Mm. Chiron is a wounded healer, and it can show injuries and so on. So it's in Sagittarius. Sagittarius can rule the thighs and upwards to the hips. So that puts us in the general area. But what really makes this also uh, part of the abortion is that it's in the seventh house. The seventh house is, uh, or I should say, governs uh, the womb and the uterus. So right there, that tells us there was an abortion taking place. Uh, that the person that the Dr. Scott, I was feeling that I kept hearing the word Hodel. I felt that it was Hodel. Um, um, the, the moon, uh, which is our, um, another marker for the victim gene is in the 12th house, 12th house of death. So this is probably something that, uh, caused her death, or maybe uh, the assailant uh, killed her soon afterwards. What are we feeling? Are we picking up that she left, or we feel that she was murdered? I feel that she died, and it wasn't of natural causes. And I, and I, and I get the sense that she was tossed off of a high place, like thrown away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so as you were you were mentioning that, Asia, I I do feel that her life was taken from her. Mm -hmm. Um but I see a boat. Okay. Okay. And also down uh down here back down to the uh the abortion uh, 18 degrees. Um uh, that is an uh an evil a uh, number evil um, threat, evil health threat. Mm. Um, we, uh, we also have uh, Pluto and Mars is an indicator for rape. So um, you did uh, ask if there was a rape that took place. So uh, mm. I would say that the possibility is there greatly. Um, we did yeah. That, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So there it is. Um, you also asked about money. Um, Uranus is in the uh, in the second house. Um, so second house can be possessions. It could also be money matters. And Uranus um, would would indicate a type of change took place. So what that change is not really uh, uh, too sure, but um, something happens. Some maybe uh, an exchange maybe, or a changing of hands, uh, that could be as well. Um, moving down the list, we have pregnancy you asked about. Um, so there's no eight or 20 degrees. You know, you could see the degrees here in the, uh, in the chart, uh, eight and 20 degrees would indicate uh, um, a pregnancy uh, was there. Um, but uh, you have Venus, uh, which is again, uh, Gene, this is our victim. And uh, I would say that uh, Venus would also indicate a mother. Um, it's also at 27 degrees, which is a Gemini degree, which means two of, right? Uh, so that could be a mother and child. Um, it's in Scorpio, so it's hidden. So that could be a pregnancy that's, that's hidden. And it's in the seventh house of relationships. And um, it's... Here's an interesting thing too. Um, it's also tied in, you know, to um, to that abortions because it's aspecting uh, the doctor, and the doctor is is heavy aspecting Uranus, which is 
to uh, interrupt, to cut, to cut across. So again, the abortion, um, that surgery uh, is there. You also asked if uh, there was an important man in the movie industry. Could be. Um, we have here um, uh, Leo. Uh, Leo is overseeing the fourth house. Leo is, is uh, an indicator for uh, the entertainment industry. Mm. Whereabouts that is unsure, but we'll, we'll get deeper into that. Um, you said, got help from a mobster. Um, so um, I would say that um, right here, the sun aspects uh, Pluto. Pluto is an indicator for the mob. Now, here's what's interesting. Uh, I have seen this combination, not only with abortions, but I've also seen it uh, with mobsters, right? And uh, it's in the, uh, you know, mafia. It's in the fourth house, right? So the family, again, another indicator. And uh, it, interesting enough, uh, just a side note, we also see this with motorcycle gangs mm. uh, because it has the same hierarchy, uh, you know, right. you get into a motorcycle gang, uh, the same way you would, you would almost get into, um, uh, the mafia, you have to be made, you know, uh, you rise up in the ranks, starting out as a gopher and so on. So very, very, uh, similar in that. Now, uh, moving on down the list, you asked if there was a, uh, setup. So we have uh, uh, Neptune, and it uh, conjuncts the south uh, node. Um, Neptune is fake lying. South node uh, is the truth. Um, so I, I would say that there uh, was some, some lying uh, going on there uh, with the perpetrators. So that kind of spells out, you know, maybe there was a setup with the doctor. This is a whole stellium here. So uh, normally uh, that's a domino stellium. One thing happens after another. So I could see the setup uh, being here as well. Um, Frank, uh, is it Nicoli? Is yes, it? yes. Nicoli? And Dave, yeah. Yeah, Dave I uncle. didn't. I didn't get any uh, any indicators uh, to that. Um, did Jean have um, two uh, mobster friends? Um, could be, possibly. I don't see uh, a big uh, tie-in um, to that. Um, but I do believe uh, with them. Um, going down to, to Baja, um, there is Jupiter. Jupiter is not really a person. It describes a place. Uh, so maybe in Mexico, there was some place expansive and barren um, there. And uh, it also describes things being in uh, Capricorn, low down, below the earth. Think tombs. So uh, she could be definitely buried down there in some desert. Um, the Capricorn also describes uh, brush-like uh, material. And here we have a um, 22 uh, degree um, mark here. So that's to kill or be killed. So that's telling me they had to do that. They had to probably bury her or maybe uh, one of the mobsters or so on out there uh, to uh, protect themselves. Wow. Very interesting stuff, right? So very validating. Yes. Mm. Now. Very, very yeah. much. Yeah. So I saved the, the best uh, for last. I would like to share my screen uh, again. Wait, and there's more. Yay. Yes, Yay. More. So 
this is a different type of uh, software uh, package. And uh, what I use it for is asteroids. You know, we sometimes use asteroids when we don't have uh, enough information along with fixed stars. And in the uh, JFK assassination, uh, they used asteroids and there was an asteroid uh, named Kennedy that was very prominent in that event chart. There was also two asteroids, one named Johnny, one named Harvey, that were transiting. Transiting means movement. So they were um, moving past each other, very powerful. Uh, but in here, we have an asteroid and its asteroid name is George, right next to that stellium. <laughs> oh, O-M-G. <laughs> You right. got it, Kay. You got it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's so great. So I I think uh I think uh George is our man. I know. Mind blown. Mm -hmm. right. Wow. I I because one of the things that we said, um if I can jump in here, is that we felt that the name of Dr. Scott, mm -hmm. that we we were feeling like that, you know, even though they said, the police said they couldn't find a Dr. Scott or a Kirk, but the feeling was that, you know, this this was leading to George Hodel. We mm -hmm. were getting that. And so definitely involved um, in this. It's When you said you didn't think Dr. Scott was the right, the, the, the name. Yeah. Jorge. Okay, I was going to say I'm feeling, I am feeling pulled to. I mean, I immediately, when you said that, immediately I saw his image. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, that's, I can't remember his last name. Jorge was the. Hodel. Hodel. Hodel, yes. I just remember writing Jorge on that paper. Wow. And I, I, I could see Jorge. Okay. I don't know what to, I don't know what to ask yet. Um, <laughs> So I'm processing wow. everything, yeah. um, you know, looking, you know, looking at the notes that, that we, uh, we gathered all together. Um, so the, the, I'm going to go back to ask about the mob mm -hmm. situation. Um, in the charts, because they, they did, they did say publicly, public record is that Frank, Nicole, and Dave Ogle disappeared the same time that Gene Spangler disappeared. Oh. They were scheduled to testify against Mickey Cohen, who was the big mobster that ran LA back in those days. So I was wondering if, the, if there was a tie in there with... Uh, if it showed up in the chart, if there's, you see something like that. Well, you know? oh, go ahead, Asia. Oh, no, I was going to say you were talking about the mafia in the fourth mm -hmm. house. So right. are you seeing that connect? Does that tie that connection back a little closer with that idea in mind? I do. If I can bring up the chart, uh, I'd like to illustrate that. So uh, we have down here our um, our mobsters. Um, but also uh, we have uh, the son, which is the perpetrator. Uh, that could be seen as, uh, as the mobsters as well. And look at what it's conjuncting is uh, Neptune, which uh, um, indicates disappearances. So yeah, mm. I think uh, 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 very much so um, that that could happen. So wow. Mike, my question was, do you feel that her disappearance has more to do with she was hanging out with mobsters, or do you feel that this is more connected to her pregnant, her being pregnant, the disappearance? You know, I'm not too sure where the, the tie-in is, that intersection that brought them all together. There definitely is a tie-in. Um, and, and there is a reason, um, why they made them, uh, 
have to disappear and we would probably have to look to motivation. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's most likely that um, there's, there's definitely some communication going on there. Um, Mercury is communication. So it looks like somebody knows too much. Mm. Somebody is going to blab. And that may be where the 22 degrees comes in that kill or be killed. You know, we have to get rid of them. We have to take them far away, like them. kill them, make them disappear. And uh, all that will go with it. Yeah. And you feel that there's a possibility that she's buried somewhere. Because I kept getting the feeling that she was buried in the sea. Um, I, I will say this is that I don't see any indicators there um, for uh, the sea. I mean, Jupiter can be um, drownings, but um, being that it's, it's in the sun, yeah, it's in the ninth house. Um, uh, Jupiter's in the ninth house, and that's a long journeys. Mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, and being that it's in an earth sign Capricorn uh, again um, that makes that's sense. earthy Ground. that's yeah. you know at or below ground tombs and so on like that um, but uh, I wouldn't rule out by the sea so again Baja comes into it I mean Baja is a, is a narrow strip of land well, I, I definitely felt the journey on the sea because I kept seeing a boat. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely felt, and, and Jean did too, I believe, felt the, mm -hmm. the, the journey on the sea. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's where I got my... Well, you know, I, I wouldn't um, uh, rule out um, a boat trip, a long journey on a boat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't think it... it um, I don't see anything in the in the second house. What I see in the second house uh, is uh, more having to do with that exchange of money, and also uh, with the uh, the cutting, the surgery done during the abortion. Uh, but second house um, rules uh, trunks of cars, and uh, we don't mm -hmm. see uh, neither. Uh, Venus, which would represent uh, Jean in the um, in the second house. We don't see the moon. We don't see um, uh, anything yet whatsoever um, that would indicate it. However, uh, I would like to take a look back at the chart briefly because uh, Pisces does rule... Um, the um, trunks of cars. Pisces is, is now governing the 11th house. There's nothing in the 11th house. And the 11th house is generally not a major player in, uh, in the event chart unless somebody went to a party and, and then disappeared from, from there. And then you're checking out, well, who was at the party? You know, like a lot like the uh, Kylie Rodden case. A party took place, there was someone there, someone older. Um, Saturn can can rule uh, old uh, an older person, um, and but there's nothing in this in this chart to indicate that. Okay, I think I had a question though. You were talking about the uh, the other the mobster connection, and were did I misunderstand, or were you saying that um, that maybe these these people that were uh, involved with the taking of Jean, if that's the case, were mm. also murdered? Or did I misunderstand you? Well, I think that that they uh, there's an indicator in there that they disappeared. Uh, if, if they're disappearing, they're probably uh, uh, murdered. Well, Kay, maybe that's where you, maybe that's where a body was in the water. It could be very well that it could have been one of the other people, just not Jean. That could have been too. Um, you know, there is, a, let's go back to the chart for one second, uh, okay. because it has to do with what you're talking about right now. So this is dark moon uh, Lilith, 
and um it's it's in the 12th house and that's uh that's something hidden that's disappearances too as well um that's aspecting the other mobster uh we have a square here which indicates difficulties and so i'd say that yes that, that that's an also an indicator that they've uh they've disappeared and that they are dead so okay. there's your validation wow that's just amazing to see those charts and how it just ties in with a lot of what we were picking up and what we yes. were getting it's just amazing well, you know, it's it's just another tool uh, to use, like your pendulum and your L rods or your tarot cards or oracle cards. Uh, mm -hmm. it really is, and you know what? It takes a snapshot of the event, and it's all right there. And the chart is always right. And it's the same way with it with a chart. You know, um, I can misinterpret things in a chart. It's happened before. It will happen again. Uh, but also, you know, uh, sometimes I have these charts looked at by other forensic astrologers and, you know, we uh, uh, more often than not see things differently, even if we see the same thing, right? It's just like in psychic work, um, we could both see the same thing, but you're seeing it from a different vantage point. You may... Uh, be using uh, clairvoyance while someone else is using clairaudience, uh, while someone else is using clear feeling. You know, it's all the same information, uh, but it's it's just different. In it's, a different way. Right. It's nuanced. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Well, well, this was great. <laughs> That's all I can say. This was great. And well, <laughs> Truly. <laughs> well, actually, all three of you are great because you came up with this information. I'm simply validating it. Oh, and we appreciate that. You know, we're <laughs> so glad. And no, yeah. we didn't get together beforehand, folks out there. This was a completely uh -huh. separate occasion. John came yes. in well after the fact of our actually um, coming up with this information, which uh -huh. we came up with quite a while ago and then put it all together so it's amazing how these things do synchronize right. yes this, that's our, this is our first time to uh hear the information and see the information that john um brought forward so um we're seeing the it george. for the first time just like you <laughs> the george the thing george, the george is killing me <laughs> yeah that that was tough to keep under wraps and uh for oh a while. my god couldn't wait to present it yeah that's uh that's really something else and that is truly uh validating but you know what you said is uh correct you know this is the way i like to work is to get the uh psychic information first uh mm -hmm. then you do your armchair detective work you know you're looking on uh, Wikipedia, you're looking at the newspaper articles, you're mm -hmm. looking at Reddit and uh, Murderpedia and all these things and gathering information. Then when you have all that, then you go into the forensic astrology and you start uh, validating, you know, first a chart, make sure it's a good chart, which it is. Then uh, you validate uh, a lot of the known facts plus things, um, come up in the uh in the chart um that that are the unknowns especially after uh all the the known facts and the uh psychic information is validated i've done it in reverse where uh i've done the astrology uh work first and in some cases it's it's been fine you know but i like working the other way i think that's a better methodology uh, uh I do too. For working you know and 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 you're 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 given a path to go down. The the other way you're flying blind, right? Um, mm -hmm. But uh, um, and and also, you know, I was just thinking of something. You know, Pluto, Pluto is the point of trouble in the chart, and it's in the fourth house, fourth house, end of the matter. That family, that mobsters, that's the point of trouble. That's that's where it should be zeroed in. And you know what? 
those mobsters are in Leo and, and that's a tie into the entertainment industry. And we've seen that before, you know, oh, uh, yes. mobsters yes. and the entertainment industry and, and yes. so on. Uh, what was that, that show about uh, the, uh, the, the making of the Godfather? How oh, the offer. Yeah. The offer. Oh the my offer. God. Yeah. That was such an amazing show. Right? I was, I was glued to it. I binged so, it. <laughs> yeah. So you had the entertainment industry, you had the mobsters, you had Frank Sinatra, you know, all, all of that. So there it is right there in the chart. Wow. Wow. I, it's so true. And especially back in that time period where the, the mob ran everything, right. you know, just just everything. And so um, one one question I have, because I don't know if it showed up in the chart, is the relationship that she had um, with the person who impregnated her. Because we, as it, we I think we put up like there was a rape, but was it a was it a rape? Did that show up in the chart that that was uh, a rape, or is, does it show up that that was a an affair or relationship? Well, there was definitely a rape in the chart. But here's something interesting. Okay. Don't know if this is an indicator. Let's go uh, back to the the chart. Um, you know, she is in. Um, this is this is Jean Spangler, definitely. Uh, She's in the seventh house of relationships, but it's also the seventh house of uh, your open enemies. Um, that 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 open enemy is is probably the one that um, killed you. And but if she's in the seventh house, she's face to face with that person, looking mm -hmm. right at them, possibly had a relationship with them. And you know we've seen that before where um you know someone's in a relationship they could even be married and still be raped yeah right? true that is absolutely correct true mm -hmm. true true okay so, yeah so you know maybe something went wrong in the uh in the relationship um there you know what's interesting too in the chart i don't think i pointed this out before but it uh should be said um you know we have this doctor this perpetrator in here it's in the sixth house and the sixth house, remember I said those relationships. So the sixth house is directly across from the 12th house. Uh, 12th house is your hidden enemies, but uh, you, you always look over here and the sixth house is also the house of stalkers. So they could have been stalking her as well. I think that should be pointed out. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, how do we? How can people look more into what you do and even ask your how assistance? How can they find you? Yeah. How, if, yeah. If they're well, needing assistance, they can uh, find me two different ways. Um, one is um, website that'll be uh, going live shortly. Uh, Perceptiveinvestigator.com. Uh, uh, there, there'll be a phone number there. There'll be an email uh, address that they can contact me and um, uh, questions and so on like that and I'll respond. Also, um, I'm on two astrology groups in Facebook, uh, Death and Astrology and the Darkest Astrology. And in there, people uh, post charts and say, hey, listen, you know, uh, a family member of mine was murdered here's your chart. Do you see anything, you know, and, and I've jumped in on, on uh, quite a number of them. Uh, uh, I know the administrators quite well, and, and they'll also uh, let me know about uh, something that forensic uh, astrology can come in handy. Um, one of them is a forensic astrologer as well. There you have it. You know where you can find him now. Um, and just want to say once again, John, thank you so much for um, being willing to do this. We know that it's a lot of work um, and we certainly do appreciate it. So, Absolutely. My yes. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you uh, ladies. Always Thanks, a good time. John.
We love you. We love when you come on our show. It makes everything so exciting. We just, it's just such a great feeling when you, when you know you, you just got that strong feeling about something and there it is in the yes. chart. Yes. Glad I can help. To all of you out there that are listening, we just want to leave you with these uh, final words. Our loved ones are never truly lost. They're only hidden from our sight. Thank you, and God bless. If you have any information regarding a missing or murder case, contact your local authorities. Join us again next time on Looking for the Lost. Our theme music is written by Lynn Willever.